It's beautiful weather outside. Long weekend is here. Your family is coming over. And you want to quickly make something. You want to offer something. Hello, Krish here. And welcome to Retro Foundry YouTube channel. This video tutorial is just amazing, beautiful, with this absolutely free pattern from yarnspressions.com. So this pattern is returned for Lily Sugar and Cream. I'm also going to use Lily Sugar and Cream for this particular tutorial. It's a four medium worsted yarn and it's a cotton. And for the dishcloth, obviously cotton is amazing to use. It's easy to make. It has all the abbreviations and um, what color they are using. It has like all the like needed instructions. So let's get started. By the way, we are going to use um, 5 mm hook, crochet hook, and you can make like with any yarn, any color you want. It's color of your choice, but personally, I prefer cotton yarn for the dishcloth. So for my contrast A, I'm going to use this darker uh, yellow color and white color as a contrast B. Um, it's it has it's like a same texture. It's also lily sugar and cream, so nothing's gonna change. For now Imagine that if you use that same uh, yarn then it's one ball is going to make five dishcloth which is just like reasonable numbers of dishcloths and to make that uh, we are going to use 5mm of hook we have the 5mm hook so perfect um, and I'm also checking all the notes right here so they have given the measurement approximately it's 23 centimeter in diameter they were also given the gauge this gauge is very important when it comes to uh, like making any project so let's say if you don't have the lily sugar and cream and you don't want to make something with a different yarn then you gotta make a swatch and then you can just match the gauge and you can get the idea anyways let's get started another instruction is that it's very important to read all the instructions before uh, just jumping to chains and round one so they are mentioning that whenever we are going to make chain two at the beginning of the round it's not going to be your one like first double crochet you're not going to count it as a double crochet right so with a chain two and then first round is saying we need to make 10 double crochet into the second chain from the hook and then we gotta join that with the slip stitch with the first double crochet so let's get started so this is going to be our darker yellow color is going to be our uh, color a slip knot and then let's get started making two chains so chain one chain two and then from the second chain from the hook we are going to make 10 double crochets so this is our first double crochet yarn over cross the hook yarn over oops, yarn over draw a loop from the first two loops and then draw a loop from the remaining two loops that's our first double crochet and make sure to put the stitch marker to keep the record of our beginning of the first round so each time when we are going to make our first round um, I mean starting of the first round we are going to put the stitch marker to keep the record and it's going to make our work easier so this is now second double crochet yarn over pull through two pull through two yarn over pull through two pull through two so we are going to make 10 uh, double crochet if you need uh, if you want to watch how to make double crochets um, in detail and in slow version then you can go to my playlist um, and uh, just go to that how to beginner guide and you're going to get some basic stitches and those are like really slow videos for the absolute beginners um, I hope that's gonna help you out so here we are done with our 10 double crochets now we need to join our um, this 10 double crochet so last double crochet we are going to join where our first slip slip first stitch marker is there so that's how we're going to join 
now we are going to read the instructions for the second round so second round we are going to start with chain two and remember chain two we are not going to count it as a one double crochet so after chains we are going to make two double crochets in each single crochet so last time we did 10 it's going to be now 20 because it's kind of increment and that's how we increase so let's get started with our second round okay hold it chain two one two now remove the stitch marker and starting with doing two double crochets in each double crochets so yarn over pull through two pull through two in the same one and before doing that stitch marker now in the same another double crochet that's our increment and we are going to repeat that for the whole round one more time in the second double crochet as well we are going to make two double crochets one and two and let's repeat that for the whole second round for joining or before before starting third round always make sure that you have the desired numbers of double crochet at the end of the round so let's count and i always um, use the top side of the stitches to make it easy um, for me to count this double crochets so um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's perfect. We are at the end of that round and we are going to join. That with the slip stitch. Right. So okay one thing we can do is we can join it like this and we can switch the color by just um, completely fastening off or we can use another um, method but uh, um, you know what I'm going to show you both of it so let's say we have something here to join and we have already slip stitched with the same color. Now, if you fasten off, I'm not going to fasten off like really in this one, but let's say you have fastened off from this and you're going to join the another one. So the white color by making a slip knot like this and make it little tiny like this and we have to join it here right so do something like this and start working like this right or this is the first first thing like if you join it you are going to start with making chain two and then do whatever the instruction is but instead of doing that another um, thing we can do is um, after finishing your 20th double crochet just drag it like this and and use your hook and pass it from this one and then this one like this now take your another color yarn and just take that from these two loops right and now just start working like you have this working yarn okay so after 
reaching this there we just need to do is joining it with slip stitch the first double crochet oh wow that's so pretty and i like this matter always so i'm going to so after doing that you can simply grab your yellow color and do this it's going to be stay there and yet it's joined and it's so perfect so that's what well, that was your end of the round two so let's read the instruction through and uh, let's go through the round three so in round three they are saying with b that is with white chain two one double crochet in the next double crochet and two double crochet in the next double crochet so this is, sounds like um we are going to start with jo uh, joining slip stitch which which is done in the second round and then in the third round we are going to start with making chain two which is not our first double crochet so chain two one double crochet in the next double crochet and then two double crochet in the next that is two double crochet is your increment what we did in the second round to get 20 double crochet so let's get started and at the end of the round we are going to have 30 double crochet all right 30 double crochet so chain two this is not your first double crochet so we are not going to mark it as a stitch marker um, so first double crochet mark your first double crochet of the third round one in the first one and two in the next one so one and two again one in the next one and two in the next one repeat this and get your third round 30 double crochets all right so make sure you count 30 double crochet at the end of the round 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 and okay 30 okay after 30 this is our first round and join that with slip stitch so that's your third round complete after joining it with slip stitch now um sorry my bad let's read the instruction look at that this is so beautiful like a little egg okay anyways fourth round is saying chain two one double crochet in the next so that is the first double crochet is going to be over one double crochet and then after that two double crochet in each of next two double crochet that's so that means one double crochet in the first two double crochet in the second one and two double crochet in the third one right and then one double crochet in again the next double crochet and one single crochet in the next double crochet and then we are going to repeat this whole step one double crochet two double crochet in two one double crochet and one single crochet we are going to repeat that for the whole fourth round and after that we are going to get 42 stitches so let's follow that pattern and for that let's start our round four with chain two right here so one and two one double crochet and after one double crochet always put the stitch marker that's there and then they're saying two double crochet in the next one and two double crochet in the next one after that one double crochet so that's one double crochet and then one single crochet in the next one so single crochet is different 
not going to yarn over and directly do the single crochet something like this so this is this is like going this way around like um, slightly increase and then going to decrease and now we are going to repeat that repeat from one double crochet like this two double crochet in the next one two double crochet another next one double crochet after two increment and then single crochet you see how it's creating that effect so we are going to repeat this step for the whole round and at the end of this round we are going to get 42 stitches So this is end of the round fourth and make sure you count and you get 42 stitches so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 okay perfect so that's 42 um, great so we are going to join using the slip stitch to our first double crochet which was this and let's understand what they are saying in round five chain two as usual we are going to start with round chain two one double crochet in each of next two double crochets so first and second we are going to do one double crochet then two double crochet in each of the next two double crochet so uh, that being said first and second one double crochet third and fourth two double crochet in each then one double crochet in the each of next two double crochet so one one in two 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 in next two again one one in another next two then one single crochet in the next single crochet and we're going to repeat that and after that we are going to get 54 stitches so that's our fifth round that being said chain two one double crochet this is our first double crochet always put the stitch marker one double crochet in the second one two double crochet and next two so third has one increment that is two double crochet and fourth has another increment then fifth has one double crochet sixth has another one double crochet and then single crochet is going to have a one single crochet so like gradually we are just creating that um, loops of these like giving the curvy shape so that's we are doing and we are going to repeat that for the whole round so let's again start with one double crochet one double crochet two double crochet in the next one another two in the next one one 
one one in the next and one single crochet on our single crochet Make sure to count it um, 54. I already counted mine and it's 54. And look at that. It's taking that beautiful shape. After 54 stitches, we are going to join that to our first double crochet, which is this one. Like this. It's joined. And after joining it, we are going to read the instructions for the round six. And there we have our round six instruction is saying that we have chain two as usual it's chain two and then one double crochet in each of the next three so instead of doing two double crochet um, in the fifth one we are going to do chain one and then one two three three um, stitches is going to have three double crochet in each of them and then two double crochet in the each of next two double crochets so one one increment in the fourth and fifth double crochet of the previous round then one double crochet in the each of next three so three single double crochet two double two double double crochets into two and then one double crochet again in three so that's how and then at the end we are going to do one single crochet we are going to repeat that and we'll get 66 stitches at the end of the round so let's get started remove that from here chain two oops chain two one double crochet in the first one and after doing that always use a stitch marker one double crochet in the second one and one double crochet in the third one okay after that increment in the next two double crochets so one increment and in the fifth one as well one increment After that increment one double crochet in each of next three double crochets so one two oops I got this little knot oh. okay that was easy but a bit disturbing for sure okay all right and three after three double crochets one single crochet over the last round single crochet we are going to repeat that um for the whole round since we had a disturbance during the round i'm going to show it for the one more time so one double crochet in first three okay so two and three then two double crochet in the next two so it's like an increment so increment first one increment in the second one after increment again one one double crochet in the next three double crochets so one two three 
two. And three. And when you reach to the single crochet of the last round, we are going to do again single crochets every time. Repeat that for the whole round. I hope you all have counted these stitches uh, which is six is six in total and now join that to complete our round six with our first double crochets um, first double crochet so let's join with the slip stitch this is the end of our round six and now our final round which is round seven is the saying that with a that means again this color is coming into the picture chain two one double crochet in each of next three double crochet two double crochet in each of next four double crochet and one double crochet in each of next three double crochet one single crochet in the next single crochet repeat that and get the 90 stitches at the end of the round it's pretty simple let's get started and put that aside so okay since we need to join with this color and we used our second type of technique our yellow color is still attached here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove that and do the same thing pull through and in this two loops here pass from the first one the second one now your hook is here and get your very first yellow one yellow color in that loop and make sure you're not like dragging it and yeah so keep it loose the height of this take it out from that two loops and now join that using the slip stitch to the first one that's how you joined and now you can get rid of this white one yet it's attached and our second color is with us remove that stitch marker with color A chain 2 right one double crochet so this is our first double crochet and put the stitch marker right here then we have to do double crochet two more times into two second third after doing three times single single three double crochets we are going to increase four times so in the fourth one we are going to do two double crochet one two in the fifth as well two double crochets sixth and in seven two double crochets so after increasing four times like this we are again going to make one double crochet in the next three stitches so one two three and then single crochet at the end beautiful 
we are going to repeat that for the whole round to get 90 stitches at the end of this round. I hope you have counted your rounds and uh, um, it should be 90 stitches at this point and uh, we need to join that using the slip stitch to the first double crochet so that's this one with the stitch marker right here and it's joined so our round seven is completed and it looks so pretty oh, i'm excited okay so to make a loop we need to slip stitch in each of the next six double crochet and then we are going to chain eight for the loop join the slip stitch in the same space as the last slip stitch and fasten off this is pretty simple okay so remove our stitch marker and since we are making our um, loop in the middle of somewhere here the hided portion of the flower what we are going to do is just using the slip slip stitches we are going to do a slip stitches to the next six double crochets so one two Three, four, five, and six. After reaching to that sixth one, we are going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six seven eight after chain eight in the same double crochet where we slip stitch last time we are going to do another slip stitch and there you go it's done there is our loop right here okay so let's fasten off a reasonable yarn to weave in and secure it throw this and take that behind like the back side so this is your right side and we need to do some of the work to make it more pretty okay so let's grab our yarn needle and just do some weaving and secure our loop uh, okay so I'm just going to go over this to right here and I will keep going in a zigzag way like this and right here and I'll go over here and then I'll just try to come back in another loops I will again go back to that side to even secure it and there you go you are pretty much ready to cut it off so cut it secure perfect now let's get rid of this one as well right here cut it um let's secure this one yarn
okay so here we are with this beautiful amazing easy quick cute pattern from the yarnspressions.com uh, personally i think it's really easy to make and it's a good way to celebrate your own skill and also make your family proud by making this and offering them like what you made to celebrate the family day it's just a tiny way to celebrate it um and uh, let me know if you have any question or you have any confusion during this round but uh, i think it's really easy and it has only seven rounds and uh, i know you're going to make it really good just like this and uh, you're going to have fun making this pattern tutorial don't forget to subscribe my channel and thank you for watching bye